Jai Guru Dev. Today I am going to discuss about the projectile motion. See, already you familiar the different type of motions, linear motion, circular motion, right? It's another one motion that is projectile motion. Here, what is projectile motion? It's a very good example for in a plane with a constant acceleration. That is a projectile motion. Here, what is projectile? It's nothing but they are giving initial velocity and then the body allowed to move under the gravity. That is called a projectile. When a particle is thrown obliquely and near the surface, it's moving along the curved path. Such a particle is called a projectile and its motion is called a projectile motion. Here you can see the picture. If you throw a stone or object from point O, they will reach a point A. After that, they reach the point B. Each and every point you take in the path, the particle have the horizontal and vertical velocity. But here I am going to derive the relation for maximum height, time of flight, clear, and then a range. So these are the things I am going to de derive. So what is the range? A range is nothing but as horizontal distance. Maximum the particle reached the horizontal distance. But the time of flight, time taken to fly the object above the ground from the point of projection and the point where the particle hit the ground and then maximum height how much of time taken to attain to attain the maximum height how much of time taken to attain the maximum height that is a maximum height clear see from the diagram you can see the x-axis taken as a u cos theta vertical I mean y axis taken as a u sin theta so each and every point they have the velocity u cos theta and u sin theta at the time t equal to 0 and the particle is at point o only now we have the u x I mean x axis initial velocity u cos theta so where acceleration 0 the initial velocity in y axis u sin theta a y equal to acceleration minus g I mean opposite to the gravitational force horizontal motion that's horizontal motion in a x acceleration in x axis 0 I told you so we can write initial it is a u x u x plus a t v equal u plus a t you know the formula so can write mm -hmm. u cos theta u x equal u cos theta in the same way x equal u t plus half a t square or u x into t equal to u t cos theta as in case the diagram and the same way vertical motion in the acceleration of the particle is g in the downward direction thus uh, a y I mean acceleration y axis equal to minus g so y component of the initial velocity that is u y equal to u y minus g d y because you know v equal to u plus a t but here the axis is opposite to the gravity so minus g t so y equal to u t minus half a t square a is replaced by g so g t square so we have that another one what is that v square minus v square u square equal to a s where a is replaced by g only now the vertical motion is identical to the motion of the power particle projected vertically upward with velocity u sin theta the original motion of the particle is identical to the particle moving horizontally with the uniform velocity u cos theta <coughs> at the time of flight for this case time of flight you can see ob equal to x right you can see the picture ob that's it it may be horizontal distance x that is equal to ut cos theta and uh, y coordinate at the point p is 0 y coordinate is at the point b y is 0 x only is there right in the same way you can write y equal to ut sin theta minus of gt square where y equal to 0 so ut sin theta minus of gt square from that one we can color the t t equal to 2u sin theta by g now t equal to 0 corresponds to the position o of the particle 
the time at which it reaches B is thus t equal to 2u sin theta by g this is the time of flight and next one range that is I told you horizontal distance so distance OB is horizontal range it is the direct distance travelled by the particle in time t equal to 2u sin theta by g so where x equal to u cos theta into t or OB equal to u cos theta into 2u sin theta by g I mean t already you derived then you can get 2u square sin theta cos theta by g but you know the formula 2 sin theta cos theta equal to sin 2 theta so straight you can write u square sin 2 theta by g this is the range what is the maximum height reached at the maximum height a the velocity of the particle is horizontal so vertical component of velocity is 0 at the, at the highest point so maximum height is the y coordinate of the particle when the vertical component of the velocity becomes 0 so v equal u y minus g t or we can write u sin theta minus g t at the maximum height at the maximum height 0 equal to u sin theta minus g t or t equal to u sin theta by g so maximum height, uh, height is h equal to u of y into t minus half g t square so if you substitute the value of t then you can rearrange the equation h equal to u square sin square theta by 2g but only thing the equation uh, 2 4 gives the time taken in the reaching maximum height but comparison with the equation 3.22 it exactly the half the time of flight thus time taken in a ascending the max minimum sorry maximum height equals the time taken in descending back to the same horizontal plane based on that can go for the one problem a ball is thrown from a field with a speed of 12 meter per second at an angle 45 degree with the horizontal what is at what distance will it hit the field again x equal 10 so horizontal range equal u square sin 2 theta by g if you apply the value learn 12 meter per second for u and theta 45 degree g 10 so you can get 14.4 meter that's the ball hits the field at 14.4 meter from the point of projection so this is a way you can understand the projectile motion. I will discuss another one concept with the next video. Thank you.